Okay, so this lesson is going to cover uh, section 3.3 and 3.4 in the textbook. Uh, let's start with section 3.3, which is basic curves with geometric relations to other curves. I'm going to be doing project 3.3.2, where we draw a line that is either perpendicular or parallel to uh, the neighboring line. Okay, so let's go ahead and start uh, NX. Okay, and just like before, I'm going to select the role that I want to be, and my role is going to be advanced with full menus. You can select essentials with full menus, uh, but I'm going to select this one again because the book primarily uses this this particular role. Let's go ahead and create a new part. Uh, we'll use a, uh, a modeling type part and we're going to call this a, a curve 2 underscore my initials. And again, I would like to repeat that if you guys are using a lab computer, a computer you borrowed, do, don't save it to the local hard drive. Save it to a flash drive. If you guys are using your own personal computer, that's fine. Save it to your own hard drives. But please be aware of that. I'm going to go ahead and, and save it to uh, whatever I'm using. I'm at home right now, so I'm using my own personal computer. Let's go ahead and uh, look at our interface one more time. Uh, I'm going to select the top view. Remember, so we're on our XY plane which is what we want to be on whenever we're dealing with these lines. And that's that's what these lines are going to be drawn on is on the X, Y plane. Okay, so just like before, let's go ahead and insert a, a basic curve or a line. So we'll go to insert, curve, basic curves, and we'll select line. And again, we have string mode selected, and uh, we'll go ahead and create a line. So I'm going to left click to create a line and I'm going to left click again to, to end the line and I'll go ahead and break the string to stop. Okay, uh, if we want to draw a line that is perpendicular, or let's, let's start with a parallel line. If I want to draw a line that's parallel to this line, I will draw another line and I'll select a point. From this point, you see, I, I could end it and select another line, or I can select this, uh, I can select the line that is next to it, which is the one I've drawn. You see it turns orange. I want to be sure not to select this center point or the control point. I want to go ahead and select somewhere in between here. By doing that, I'm able to draw a line that's perpendicular to this line, or I'm able to draw a line that's parallel to it. So let's go ahead and draw a parallel line. So I'll just, and it snaps into place wherever it is either perpendicular or parallel to it. So I'll go ahead and, and draw this line. If I wanted to continue uh, and make another perpendicular line, I have one that's coming out of here. I can select this line once again, and you see I have a line that is perpendicular to my second line that I've drawn. And then you can continue to do this, um, uh, creating a shape or whatever you're wanting to do. But this is the basic idea of creating something that is either parallel or perpendicular to each other. So that's project 3.3.2. Let's now work on, and let me go ahead and erase what I have done here. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the creating a line that has a specific uh, length of size, length of or dimensions. And if you guys have used AutoCAD before, this is similar to the line function in AutoCAD, where we specify uh, the starting point and ending point and the coordinates. Uh, and this, this is useful if you guys are drawing a 3D model or, or need to draw a line 
uh, in some kind of schematic. So this may be something that you that comes in handy later on. So I'm still in my basic curve line menu. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the string mode, which will take off uh, the continuous lines that are drawn off of a when we draw, whenever we do draw a line. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and specify now the location of the uh, line that we're dealing with. So let's say we want a line that has an origin at the x coordinate of minus 2 and the y coordinate of minus 1, z coordinate is 0. Uh, we don't need to, to change this, but I'll put it to an angle of 0 just to uh, be safe, an angle of 0, or uh, length of 0, an angle of 0. I'm going to say this height is also going to be 0. So we'll just have a specific data point dealing with that. And I think I, I think I clicked on, did not click on the right thing, so let me go ahead and input these data points really quick one more time. Okay. Seems to be having a little bit of trouble here. There we go. So we have a line that starts at minus 2 and uh, minus, minus 2 in the x-axis, minus 1 in the y-axis. So what I've done, and I'll, I'll go through this next point a little bit slower. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So to zoom in, I am scrolling my center mouse button. Just scrolling it. And I want this next point to end on the x coordinate minus 4, the y coordinate 3, z coordinate again is going to be 0 since we're on this plane. Let's say our angle for this particular point is 0, or, or the uh, length for this is going to be 0. The Angle, we can say, is also zero. And let's see what happens. Well, uh, I did not let me one more time. I'll try it one more time where I'll just specify the, the length. OK. So we have a line here which we created. So uh, if, now, let me zoom in a little bit here. You guys see, I think I made a mistake here. But you guys get the idea, I think, and I, I can I can start this exercise one more time, uh, just so that you have a so I get it right this time. So let me do it one more time. Where I input the data, we have a minus two point, we have a minus one on the y-axis. Let's go ahead and establish that, and then we have a uh, we want to connect it with a point at minus four and three. Now, what I'm doing to navigate through these boxes is I'm pushing the tab key. And then I'm pushing enter when I'm done uh, inputting the case. So there, I think that, that line looks much better to me than the previous ones I did. So here we have our line uh, with these coordinates. Um, it gives the distance that the line is um, in particular angle or height. So. Uh, next thing I would like to do, since we're doing currently project 3.4.1, is I'd like to create a line that kind of comes out of this one in a perpendicular way. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and input a line starting at minus 2 and minus 1, which is our initial, our initial starting point. Okay. So you guys see I have a line coming out here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, input a, let's say we have a minus 2, minus 1. Uh, let's say we have a length for this particular line uh, given in our tutorial of 3. The angle that it's giving uh, with respect to the x-axis is going to be 30 degrees. And let's press enter now. So 
So I've created another line that's perpendicular to this one at a 30 degree angle to our uh, x axis. So uh, you guys can see this is just a similar uh, function to those of you who use AutoCAD when we have a line function. And we can use this to specify exact points that we want on a on a plot. So we can do this with other shapes. So if you guys want to try a circle, you guys can select a circle. And uh, let's look at uh, let's input a y coordinate for our circle. Let's say we want it to be at minus two at two, and a y coordinate of four, for example. So here you see our center of the circle, which we specified. And let's look at if we want, let's say here's the radius uh, or, or the radius of this circle. We can say our radius will be, um, I think the tutorial says 2.5. So there's a circle with a radius 2.5. Now in the in the text, it gives dimensions on these particular, or, or gives points on this particular circle and uh, L-shaped bracket that we need. But we are not going to uh, we are not going to look at those dimensions quite yet. We'll save that for a future one. Uh, next lesson, we'll be looking at section 3.5, and we'll uh, continue on and finish off. Uh, chapter 3 in the following couple of lessons and we'll move on to chapter 4.